from Marvin Mabonga alias County Sonko visit Bungoma County. Ndio nimefika Bungoma I'm trying to do my ground mobilization for Friday. To boda boda riders complain of pathetic roads. Hapa Romima tunateseka kwa sababu ya njia. Wasangalo kwenda paka kakameka. Where is 25 million for Bungoma beautification? So majama hizi ndio hizi mau za 25 million Bungoma County. Naonyesha tu kwa kwa ndio hapa. Ground mobilization ahead of civic education. Hii mkutano tunaanza saa 8 na tungeomba vijana wote ya wenye mko Bungoma County na mnaweza fika Lechante kimilili saa hizi. Anguka na. Tuari kama for you. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Derry. In the past few days, Marvin Mabonga was in Bungoma County injecting, doing some ground mobilization, also civic education. And on top of that, he went on to show us the current situation in Bungoma County. And to be honest, those leaders, elected leaders of Bungoma County, they should be ashamed of themselves because Bungoma is in a very pathetic condition. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys and sharing with you guys the journey of KOT Sonko, Marvin Mabonga in Bungoma County. As we prepare to celebrate Mashuja Day, to celebrate our fallen soldiers, this image that you see here, this was Willie who was shot dead, a Gen Z who was shot dead during the protest. May his soul rest in eternal peace. After a long journey, Marvin Mabonga, KOT Sonko arrives in Bungoma County and the first thing he did is to do some ground civic education, which has also brought a huge impact since the protest started. Later on, he decided to move around Bungoma County and just see how this city is, this county is. And let me tell you, he was shocked when he found himself at the uh, Bokoli Kimilili Bungoma Road. And let me tell you, every financial year, my people, listen very carefully. Every financial year, 1.3 billion is poured into and allocated to the construction and maintenance of roads in your county. Did you know that? Take a look at how uh, your votes are making changes in Bungoma County. It connects almost four constituencies in Bungoma County. And as you can see, this is the nature of the road. Remember in Bungoma County, this is a county where... Uh, the, 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 the budget allocation for the road and uh, for road construction and maintenance every financial year in 1.3 billion but just look at the state of the road so this road has been in this state for the last eight years because the last time it was constructed kulikuwa na president anaitwa kibaki ndio constructed in 2008 so for the last eight years, Inja imekuwa hivi, na it was allocated 350 billion, uh, million. I remember this is the county where um, our speaker of the National Assembly, anaitua, um, anaitua wetangula anatoka. Yeah? Just look, na tunambiwa, sijui nyinyi watu wa western huko mulipewa 30%. Nashanga 30% ilikuwa yonyeshe hizi Inja venye zinaka hivi. But just look. Hapa hakuna. Ini upuzi hii tuko nae huku alafu you guys want us to, to, to listen to you at you are our, our leaders. Hadi huko juu mali mnuona huko mbele. The road inakaa hivyo. Nje hazizi kaa hivi. Alafu you as a governor, you are going to use 25 million. 25 million kununua ma, maua siju hati za ma, 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 madaraka day. Unachukua 110,000 kununua wheelbarrow. A piece of a wheelbarrow. Lakini nje zinakaa hivi. Governor Lusaka kind, it's not even a kind, a kind request. I want to demand that this road should be constructed very, very soon. So, the people of Bungoma County, it seems like your votes are working for you like expected. Am I right? Let's move on. Did you know that the president of Kenya has an airport? Not just an airport, but an international airport in Bungoma County. And it's called William Ruto International Airport. This facility costed the taxpayers money 139 million Kenyan shillings. But when you go there, there's nothing. No construction is going on. Uh, there's no security, no fence. It's just emptiness. Take a look at this video. And 
this facility was constructed juicy na the president launched this facility in the cost 139 million yeah and so nimekuja hapa in fact nataka kupanda ndege na i can see kuna offices za KAA kuja nionyeshe office zetu za KAA Bungoma hizi hapa office za KAA Bungoma za 139 million yeah hii ni ya KAA huko ndani naona ni kama hawa jamaa wamefunga hapa ndio kwa nyumba ya security wa KAA hapa hapa ni kwa security kwanza wa KAA Ah eh? security mwenyewe si kama ah uh, security ya yuko mwana vile kuna yeye ameenda wapi hiyo hii fence yetu eh mtu akisimama huku huku ni nje alafu huko ni ndani so mtu akiwa huku nje hizi access huko ndani Ayesi, you can see kapisa. 139 million Kenyan shillings hii ni runway siji kama unaiona eh alafu kuna kuna hizi ndege zina you can see guys okay. this facility it cost 139 million friends haiko hakuna hata waya ijaye yako wamekata hizo mapost hapo alafu walisema inakuwa launched eh huku ni ndudi zinapita tu so this facility venye mnaona i don't think uh, it's on the standard ya kuitwa hata airstrip it seems like the people of bungoma county they are really enjoying life even they have an international airport my lord i wonder like tell us in the comments on below if you are coming from bungoma county where you'll be going you'll be flying to in your next vacation just like our president who flies all the time after Marvin Mabonga Kyoto Songo finishes to book his flight at the William Ruto International Airport he flies all the way all the way to Matisi uh, Matisi Horticultural Collection Center and let me tell you this facility was meant to collect horticultural produce so the people of Bungoma if you voted for the right people for the right leaders This facility will have created so many job opportunities for you guys. Take a look at this video man. This is so sad. I'm here at Matisi Horticulture Collection Center. Hii ni center yenye agricultural produce zinakuwa collected hapa. Hiyo zikuwa zipelekwe pale airport. I hope muone airport nionyesha zipelekwe pale airport Matulo. Alafu wazipeleke zikuwa exported. So nataka nionyeshe venye hii facility inakaa. Mambo ya agriculture wapande viazi wapande mioko itakuwa inaletwa hapa kuna baadhi ya watu walipanda lakini hizo vitu hazikuwahi ingia hapa sikaharibika hivyo na hata kuna shamba lingine lilinunuliwa kule mahanga kwa wodi ya bokoli kuna ile ilifaa ifanywe agriculture mpaka wa leo hatujaona hii miradi ikiendelea huku ni matisi This facility will cost taxpayers money. Venye zinakaa. Na mshua hapo kulikuwa na milango, si ndio? Angalia milango hii. Hapa milango ni kazi imeibiwa zote. Okay. Lakini angalia angalia huko ndani venye kuna kaa. So, hapa ndio horticultural center ya Bungoma County in Matisi. Mahali tunaleta agricultural products. Si ndio? Jama, jama wetu wa Bungoma bwana mimi nashangaa huku kwetu tunakaa aje hivi kama mnaona project kama hizi wameka hapa millions of money for the taxpayers yeah every financial year alafu kuna kaa hivi and i'm even surprised that hapa kando ni kwa kwa boma ya MP wa huko anaitwa Dan Wanyama mjirani hapa and this place inaka i mean the office ya ya, ya MP ya member of parliament So mimi nashangaa si kama vijana wa Bungoma shuali kama project kama hizi zetu zenye nafasi tunafaisha zinakaa hivi na county iko governor alusaka honestly what are we doing as a, as a county because this is hii ni kazi gani honestly it looks like the people of Bungoma county they will only be collecting air for the moment so my Bungoma people the question of the day is what is beauty what is the meaning of beauty Beauty is a combination of qualities such as form, shape or color that pleases the aesthetic senses, especially the sight. While Baby Babonga was moving around and showing us how Bungoma town looks like, he could not help it but show us how 25 million shillings was spent to 
to beautify hey, to beautify the county take a look at what uh, how your money your taxpayers money was spent by your governor governor Kenneth Lusaka so majama isn't is more was a 25 million for my account It seems like the 25 million really did a good job, really did wonders in Bongoma town. So if the Bongoma people consider this and see this as beauty, then it is high time to visit an ophthalmologist, a doctor who is specialized and knows all about the eyes. While Kerry Sonko, Marvin Mabonga was moving around Bongoma county, he suddenly got a headache because of the development disappointments that he was seeing all over. And he got a headache because of this. So he went to the Kabula District Hospital for checkup. While he was uh, receiving his medical checkup, a Gen Z approached him and this Gen Z decided to share his story with uh, Kyoti Sonko and this is how things unfolded. Listen to this. Tumefika hapa tunaitwa Kabula Talitia District Hospital in Kabula constituency in Bungoma County. Niona hii is a CDF project. Iliambiwa this uh, facility hayukuwa na dawa na so hata saa hizi hakuna activity inaendelea hapa uh, hospitali imefungwa kidogo for some renovation but then luckily nilipata a clinical officer hapa na tumetaka kusikia kutoka kwake tu how the clinical officers huku interior actually huku ni interior sana from Bungoma town tuone how they work huku uh, I mean clinical officer printan we were expected to report for internship uh, due ju July lakini zile pilka pilka za the, the, the former CS for help akatupeleka nje nje ndani sasa hii tuko kwa mata so uh, tunatafuta tu way out kwa well, dispensaries clinics at least to jisort sababu comrade wezi ka bila kujisort so hapo hospitali ukienda kuuliza vacancy ni kidogo why because hakuna uh, infrastructure infrastructure ya hospitali madawa hakuna then uh, instruments kitu kufanya hakuna so tunakaa tu tuko tu mtani kulima jembe na hizo vitu zingine so we appeal to you guys that uh, let's this go viral kwamba actually what is happening on ground hakuna kitu this is wenyewe tuko tu kwa ground to happen so if uh, uh, you can communicate to, to the ministry and you know usika at least wakuwa helped so when Marvin Mabonga, Kyoto Songo realized that even in Kabula District Hospital, he does not have medicines, he decided to continue his journey. So by Bungoma people, Mulembe, Ovola C, Mulimoyo, is the pressure increasing or decreasing? At this point, you should be mad enough and angry enough to go and start a protest even right now as you watch this video. So when uh, Marvin Mabonga was uh, moving around in Bungoma County, he met these uh, border border riders at the Sangalo Kakamega Road and they were very angry and mad at the government for its failure to construct good roads for them. Roads that the projects that were launched decades ago have not even, not even finished but not even started. Take a look at this video. <laughs> So Kama 
So after the Bodabada riders finished to share their views and their disappointments against the government and its bad governance, it was time for Kyoto Songo to go and prepare for the main day to prepare for the town hall civic education which happened at the La Gente Hotel in Kimilili. And this is what uh, Marvin Mabonga had to say. Listen to this. So this is our venue that we have planned. Tomorrow we'll be having a, a town hall civic education and you can see that the hall is already set. Nibado uh, 2 system in network and you have to up then we see how we are going to educate ourselves on matters of good governance, yeah. uh, on matters of corruption, to encourage uh, our fellow youth to ensure that they have the national IDs and they take their voting cards. So, come on, Kimilili and the environs. Come on, talk about Mount Elgon. Come on, talk about Chuele, Bungoma Town, this Bungoma County. Kuja, to Koset, it is Mayako. In fact, it is a president one, yeah? So, the whole is too big actually. It is in Badoz na Pangwa Pangwa. So we are ready for tomorrow for civic education town hall in Pungoma County. While Kyoto Songo and his team were still preparing for the main day, there was still some ground mobilization and also ground civic education. And also there was still ongoing preparation at the La Gente Hotel in Kimilili. Even sound system were being installed by these young and strong men. After everything was set at the La Gente Hotel in Kimilili, Bungoma, now that day, the day that everybody has been waiting for, finally arrived. And this is what a serious, dedicated and fearless Gen Z, Marvin Mabonga, had to say. So, leo tukawapa Le Chante kwa mkutano ya vijana ya civic education in Bungoma County. Na tayari tushanza kuona vijana wa kuingia. Tukona vijana kutoka Mount Elgon, tukona vijana kutoka Tongaren, tukona vijana wametoka Webuye West, wengine wametoka huko Chuele, ya. Yeah. Na bado hapa wakimilili pia wanaanza kuingia moja moja pole pole. Sasa, hii mkutano tunaza sanane. Na tungeomba vijana wote, ya. Yeah. Wenye muko Bungoma County na muneza fika lechante kimilili sahizi. Mkeze kuja tujumuike pamoja, tukeze kuzungumza mambo kusu vijana. Ok, mbina ito Albert, ni mkaji wapa kimilili. Pia nimejiunga pamoja na vijana ambao wamekuja hapa sababu maswala ambayo yanaenda kusungumuzwa ni maswala ambayo ni ya muhimu ambayo wengi hawayajui lakini wakati tumekuja wote hapa hivi wengine tutapata kuwa tutapata mwanga kutokana na mafundisho ambayo tunaenda kupata e, kwa majina naitwa John Poka Kichana na mimi mwito wangu kuja hapa hivi nimekuja kujifunza kitu moja na hiyo kitu ni kutuhusu si vijana wadogo najua kuna vijana wengi hawaelewi hii maneno yanaendelea hapa ni maneno gani Chini wa karibisha mkuja mwelewe imani naika hapa hivi. Ni mafunzo mzuri mzuri sana vijana. Wapi? Basi kwa hapo. Tonde. Acha tusukume bana. Wewe mabaz wale mwingine wa. Let me tell you ladies and gentlemen the town hall civic education that happened and took place at the Akimilili Lajante Hotel it was a success. Very very successful. So many young people came out. The people of Bungoma came out and they spoke up. They raised their voices and they had very very good points. Like people are, were injecting, were seriously injecting. This shows you that the young people and the people of Kenya, they have a vision, mission, and the future for this country. But the only thing that is taking our people behind is the bad governance and the corrupt leaders. They say this and they do that. They promise you this, but they do that. I personally was there. I listened to the town hall civic education um, through the KOT uh, Sonko Twitter space. And let me tell you, People are injecting. Na ili hali kuna wa vijana wetu wanatumiwa vipaya na wanasiasa. Sisi kwa barabara, ni tuko kwa barabara wanafanya maandamene yetu ispisi. Vijana wanatokea huko, wanaripu, wanaripu vitu za watu. Wanatuambia sisi kama jenzi jina, umona. Lakini nyanataka kwa mbia vijana wenzetu. Tunataka tusimame kikete. Tue kitu kimoja. Kitiote kifanyika. Wacha tue kitu kimoja, tutoke inche. Tukwe kitu kimoja na tupinge kelele kama vijana, umona. Musiona kimoja, amesimama uko inje, musiona kama nilipeke yangu niko kwa barakara na leta sufuria. 
Sijui nani aliona hiyo kulipia sufuria. I was the one. Wacha tuseme tu ngoma kauti. Nilikuwa mimi mwanamke peke yake kwa barabara na sufuria. Umeona? Ikakuja paka ya finance bill. Nika act the same same but it will win. After the town hall civic education finished, Marvin Mabonga decided to continue injecting and he went all the way to Tongaren constituency where during the town hall civic education one of the residents revealed that there was no electricity and also the roads were in very very bad conditions take a look so guys indio barabara ya kwenda kwa mp wa tongaren anajita john chikati na mnaona huku i hope mnaona stima imejaa huku hata sasa hizi lights ziko ziko kwa wingi ya so guys honestly huku hakuna stima angalia barabara huku ni kungoma county angalia barabara venye inaka inaenda kwa mheshimiwa hiyo barabara John Chikati. Yeah. So leo in uh, in that town hall for Bungoma County Civic Education. Kuna jamaa alisema inafaa tukuje huko kwao tuone barabara venye inakaa. And because we want to come back to Nairobi and attend that uh, Mashujaa Day at Uhuru Park, tulisema ni must uh, tufike huko kwa mheshimiwa tuone. The guy told us huko hakuna stima na huko barabara ni mbovu. And honestly barabara in your main road ya kuingia kwa John Chikati the MP wa Tongaren so wacha twende tu pole pole alafu tuone kwake kwa boma stima kama iko ama hakuna because mimi sijiona any any nini any electric post tu kwa kuna honestly ndio hii njia tu ya kwenda kwa mheshimiwa ah, look at the road anajiita mheshimiwa John Chikati ndio hii njia look at the road ndio hii njia yes. tunaenda pole pole tu alafu tukuonyesha hadi kwa haya angalia fence venye imejengwa wake okay. hapa ndio kwa John angalia. Chikati nyumba ilijengwa yeah. within a month. So, hapa ni kwa John Chikati, no, I hope unaona fence vizuri. Ndio hii fence yake, hapa ni hapa ni main gate ndio. Ama yeah. kuna main gate nyingine? Main gate. Ndio main gate. Yeah. So Marvin Mabonga and his team decided to go to that area's MP who is called uh, John Chikati. And mind you that John Chikati's brother, that MP's brother is also the MCA and his name is Tim uh, Chikati. Yeah, like you Bungoma people you are only electing family members and just this is the outcome this is the outcome take a look at how things unfolded so guys i hope umeona mali tuko hapa ni kwa jamaa anaitwa John Chikati the MP wa Tongaren na huko hakuna stima honestly hata mnaona tuna struggle sana kutumia torch ndio tuone hii ndio main gate kwake kwenye kuna ka njia ni mbovu hakuna stima lakini jamaa anakaa Nairobi kule Karen wakicheka cheka huko wakifanya vituko zao wanaingia parliament kukula pesa yetu tu ya bure kuna tongere na hapa bwana Kambi. Huko ni home. Mimi nimesomea pashe kuko primary. Nimelelewa huko. Shamba yetu imepakana tu na yao. Hapa it's just a water boundary. And this is the state. And it is very sad it is very sad kwa sababu like 10 years later bado we are still living like to cost tonnage. Tafadhali hii message ifike relevant authorities. That is why we are trying to educate people that all sovereign power belongs to the people and it should be exercised accordingly. Yes. That is our message. Na tuendelee kusukuma hiyo ujumbe. Watoto Tongaren bwana bomu demand pesa zenu mnalipa tax, huko kuwekwe stima, uh, barabara yundo because this is a very bad picture to your constituents. Nyimu naamka mapema kwenda kupiga kura, alafu kuna kai. Angalia ni kwa mheshimiwa wenu wenye kuna ka. Sijui kama unaweza uonyesha huko. Nothing. There is nothing. Huko hakuna hakuna stima. Hata tuoni, si ndio? Mm -hmm. Hatuwezi yeah. sawa. After all that the next day came and it was time for Marvin Mabonga and his team to pack their bags and continue with their mission. On their way they passed by the governor's uh, home, the Bungoma County governor, Governor Lusaka, and they were shocked to see that the governor's mother was being laid to rest and she was being transported, the body was being transported using very expensive convoy, but the road they were using it was poorly managed and poorly constructed. Take a look.
selama di Lombang Itu kenal saya kok? Itu kan dia dua anak kita The only question that I want to ask you today is where are we heading to as a country? I'm gonna be putting uh, Marvin Mabonga's Kyoto Songkos website link in the description down below. So make sure you go and check it out. So my Bungoma people, next time when you go to vote, vote wisely. Vote for the right people. Vote for the right leaders. Vote for young people who have a vision and a mission and a clear future for this country. Vindu Vichenjanga. And if you want to change, then people like Keoti Sonko, Marvin Mabonga, they will take this country to a different level. I have nothing much to say. I'm going to be putting Keoti Sonko's uh, website link in the description down below. So make sure you go and check it out. Follow his social media handles for more information. I'm Marvin Mabonga. I come from Kimili constituency in Bungoma County. So Mr. President, before you go, I want, you, I want to let you know that in your cabinet, currently we are having so many incompetent cabinet secretaries. For instance, let me give you an example of your friend, Kipchumba Murkomen. Kipchumba Murkomen did law. He has never been in any law firm in this country. He has never won any case. But currently, he's heading the Ministry for Road and Transport. My question is, between like where where is the the the, the, the 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 conjunction between the ministry of transport and a lawyer in that department you should be putting there a person who has done even civil engineering who knows so much about construction lastly the minister for for agriculture that person he even doesn't have a bachelor's we all know this information we have the, 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 the government's website and we Google, we see this information. So, Mr. President, if you are going to give us those people who are incompetent, then we are totally doomed. You know, when we elected you as the president, normally they say, you set a thief to catch a thief. But this time round, when we elected you, Mr. President, that you can help us now catch those people who are corrupt in this nation, you're just there laughing with them. Look at, look at uh, Oscar Sudi. He's floundering with 20 million in a bag in a public uh, forum. I'm even told that there is one of the uh, cabinet minister who was caught in Dubai with 20 million cash and you, 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 you actually came through him so he wasn't uh, taken to a court somewhere or, or arrested. You know that, Mr. President. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host, Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Ooh.